I am Carlo, I Carlos Capitici, I'm the marketing director for Daffabet Europe. Being a marketing director in an online gambling company is a pretty diverse role. Uh, it's essentially coordinating everybody's efforts and, to a common goal. Uh, one of our primary objectives is to acquire customers and get the value out of it and deliver a great customer experience. Um, it's pretty simple, uh, it's not always in that order, but uh, for the most part that's what I do on a daily basis. With the traffic generation and with actually getting customers to our site, the, one of the biggest challenges that we have is that we actually have a finite amount of traffic out in the marketplace. Um, we've noticed that over the years that it's very difficult to uh, increase and grow traffic regardless of how much marketing we spend. So one of the, the, the biggest things that we've turned our focus to is obviously the retention of the people who we do bring through the door. Um, in that regard, bringing people through the door you know, is, is one of the big sort of uh, things we need to focus on every day. But definitely you know, keeping them there, keeping them interested, keeping them motivated and entertained is one of the, the biggest challenges that we have. So uh, traditionally our company has uh, relied mostly on acquisition and allowed the customers to come in quickly and leave just as quickly. So I think a lot of the, the, the success that we've had uh, has been w with personalizing the experience and keeping the value there and keeping the customer sort of more in tune with the fact that they're with somebody who knows who they are in a non-weird way. So our, our personalization is actually a, a good thing. Uh, we obviously use Frosmo for that and we, we, um, we give them an experience that is you know, somewhat a bit more than what everybody else does. So we've been uh, using Frosmo since around, I think, the end of 2012 when I first met uh, the Frosmo at ICE, I think it was, in London. Mm -hmm. And we made a deal pretty quickly. I think I set up a, a very good argument why we should use a company like Frosmo. Uh, the personalization is something we just couldn't do without a competent third party. Um, it would require a lot of you know, work and a lot of uh, database hacking, a lot of code hacking. So the, the, the coolest thing that we, we basically got from day one was the experience that we could deliver to the customer, the fact that we could really take uh, notice of what they do on a day-to-day -day basis and use that as a way to make their experience much better. So that, that was fantastic, we loved it. There has been a lot of big changes in building a brand over the years. I've been in this uh, gaming industry since 2002, so I've seen a lot of change. Um, I've seen a lot of brands come and a lot go. Uh, there's very few brands left in 2016 you know, that, that have really stood out and become powerhouses in the industry. Uh, Daffabet's been in business now for over 10 years, 12 years. So um, they've been quite consistent in their approach in building the brand and uh, I think it's key for people to become known as a consistent brand that it's, it's always going to be there because security and safety and you know, a, a reliable company is what's important to the consumer, to the customer. When we decided to work with Frosmo, security was a, a part of the concern. I think any company is going to do due diligence on the partners they work with. Um, I think the the idea that we're working with a customer, with a sorry, a, a vendor that's already working with other companies like ours was a big reason why you know we could trust them. As well as this, um, I think uh, we were keeping the sensitive data on our end, and Frosmo never had access to it. So I think it was a, you know, pardon the the the, the expression, but a no-brainer. I don't know how to explain it any other way. One of the biggest concerns we had before using the Frosmo platform was, the, the, the key question was, is it going to work? This was a much bigger investment uh, for us um, compared to like using something like a, a widely publicly available platform like a VWO or uh, Optimizely. Uh, the price points on those are obviously very small, but the, the, the service you get with it's not anywhere close to what Frosmo provide. So I think price point was an issue and you know ultimately it was my, uh, my, what's the good expression for this? It was my ass on the line, so to speak, <laughs> whether this was going to work out. And I think, you know, we're talking now four years later, we're still in a deal with Frosmo, and obviously the, the results have been great. Um, I think to summarize it, uh, just the, was it going to work? And the answer is yes. The key determining factor of why Frosmo is different than other companies is that the service they deliver is, is, is equal to the quality of the software. You can absolutely make a choice to use another vendor for similar reasons to why you chose Frosmo in the first place, but you just don't get the, uh, the knowledge of the business sector. 
So it's quite difficult to uh, you know, co collaborate with the team that know what you want to accomplish. So in our regard, uh, the service part of working with Frosmo is equal to you know, the use we get out of the software itself. So as well as the industry knowledge of uh, what we do that Frosmo has, we also get that rapidity of, of development, so getting stuff done quickly. Um, getting things done is important in any company and when you have to go through a whole engineering loop and sort of uh, developing it with the, the, those guys and also getting the planning stages, the documentation, that's quite laborious. Working with Frosmo as a service as well as a, a platform also has shortened that incredibly. It means we can go to market with something that we, we literally just thought of days before instead of waiting weeks with our dev team. That, that's probably one of the biggest part of the service contract. We love to uh, do crazy things and prove that they just work. Or equally, if they fail, at least we get to that conclusion extremely quickly. And uh, using the data to you know, ensure the people that are you know, high above us, you know, they, they understand that we're positively impacting business. I've been working with Frosmo for, uh, since 2012 with two companies. And I've seen incredible results in both companies. And I think um, one of the key things that stands out to me is that the evolution of the product. I think that, that bears testament to the fact that Frosmo are listening to their customers. They also have uh, like a keen eye for the fact that their product may not always be correct for the market. So they're really approaching it from the perspective that, you know, you know, these guys are our customers. They're telling us what they want. Maybe we should listen to them and give them what they want. And so far, I think that's been fantastic. We've seen an incredible amount of improvements across the board. The uh, personalization of uh, Frosmo is great. The, the data um, visualization is a lot better than it was in 2012. I mean, it's challenging to think back four years ago, but it's easy to see sort of incremental growth, which, you know, it, it's the ideal partnership when you work with any technology partner. So I've been working with Frosmo since 2012 uh, with two companies, and uh, I've seen some fantastic results in both companies. So obviously Frosmo was the right choice, thankfully. Made a great decision. Um, the, the great thing that I've seen is you know, what we want to see with every tech partner, which is the, as our business changes, that Frostmo also is interested in how we're changing and they're interested in also making changes to their platform to suit our business. I don't think to date there's been any request that we've asked of Frostmo that they haven't actually gone and put uh, engineering work into in order to change the platform. So I've seen some amazing things. Uh, the personalization uh, aspect of Frosmo has come along in leaps and bounds in two years, as well as that data visualization has been fantastic. Um, the reports and the data that we had in 2012 are nowhere near as sophisticated as what they are now. So I think that's down to the fact that you know, Frosmo really care about their customers and you know, they, they really want to make their product uh, fit the market for the people that they have right now and for the future. Without further ado, I'll do a stupid five-second robot dance. Brilliant. <laughs>